We take this waste, electronic waste, a lot of it we just ship to Africa, and they will go through a number of processes to try to reclaim that metal. These data centers, every time you store something to the cloud, that is going to a data center. That is storing in some flash drive on some chip somewhere. And they will retire these every one to three years. So you have a huge number of these things that are made by many different manufacturers. And so there's mountains of these. And these are considered a toxic waste, not by me, just by the government government because there's a lot of metals and you can't just throw this in the trash. And so there's huge availability of this. And if you recycle it, metals are infinitely recyclable. So you can recycle it, recycle it again. And now there's more money in it. The traditional ways of purifying this were really messy. You needed a lot of acid, a lot of water. You generated what was called secondary waste streams from all of this processing. And the pyrometallurgical methods of just melting it all down wasn't able to pull these individual metals metals out as well. Things have changed. Our method turned out to be quite fruitful, much cleaner, and much cheaper.